that smoking and secondhand smoke are harmful to our health. We also know that it's important for pregnant women to quit smoking. However, there are some that don't, and we're going to be talking about those women and some alternatives for them. But let's just start out talking about some of the problems with smoking. Right, that's a big problem, and everybody knows smoking is bad for you, but just a quick review about it. We know that it can cause lots of problems like lung cancer. It's, it's become a very common cause for lung cancer. A few people who don't smoke get it, but the majority of people who smoke are at a much higher risk. Then we're looking at heart attacks and strokes because we know it, it influences the rate at which arteriosclerosis develops. It's not good for circulation either. Not at all. And look at emphysema. I mean, that relates to what these little kids are going through. You get this chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that uh, wipes out the lining, the surface lining of the lung and uh, makes it difficult to breathe and a lot of people wind up uh, on uh, on respirators as they're in their later years. And one of the things that happens to these unborn fetuses is that when they're born after they've been exposed to the smoke many times they develop wheezing and asthma among other things. Right and later in their life in the first five years of their life. So we're looking at something that's really important and a lot of women who do smoke during their pregnancies really would like to quit but they're having a hard time. And so a study was done, okay, at the University of California in San Francisco on 159 women, Vicki, who were given some vitamin C to take, just 500 milligrams a day, which isn't a very big dose, uh, during the last, approximately, tr last trimester of their pregnancies. And what they found was that that had a very sparing effect on the little kids when they were born as far as lung disease was concerned. Who would think of something like vitamin C would be so helpful that way? Well, it's actually not too much of a surprise because when you think about what vitamin C does, it's a very powerful antioxidant. So how much would you have to take? Well, in this study, they only use 500 milligrams. Most adults, if they're trying to protect themselves against some of the free radical damage that we see that causes a lot of these chronic diseases, may take up to six or eight or 10 or 15 grams a day, you're depending on what the condition is. There are some people who take 40 or 50 grams a day. So it's, it's, it's quite variable depending on what you have. I was surprised to learn that 12% of pregnant women still smoke. Yeah, that's a big number, and it, and that's why the, this study was done, because the women are trying to quit, but they can't, and so what can they do then to protect their babies is just take this little bit of vitamin C, because it makes all the difference in the world in terms of what their later pulmonary problems are going to be like. Well, you know, one of the problems, I think, with quitting smoking is that they have a lot of additives in cigarettes mm. that make it so that you are more addicted to them, Absolutely. and so that makes it even harder. It's sometimes just hard to believe that we allow this to go on, and yet at the same time, the very problem we're trying to avoid is to keep things from being on the black market. What we don't want is to empower sinister organizations like the Mafia to be able to regulate smoking like they're regulating drugs, uh, the hard drugs that we use like cocaine. So. It needs to be kept legal. You'd like to educate people as much as we can. More education is occurring in schools, which is really a, a very powerful way to do it. And of course, we should have legislation that limits what tobacco companies can do. Well, I don't think it's as much fun as it used to be either because <laughs> a lot of people don't want to be around a smoker. And most people that smoke end up going outside and smoking by themselves. And it used to be like a social thing to do. So Well, it's still kind of a social thing to do. But what's happened is you can see the power of education, Vicki. It makes a big difference if you have information that's accurate and a big difference if we have legal uh, organizations that are going after the tobacco industry exposing the corruption, the deceit that they use, the way they manipulate to try and, and advertise to kids. And if we are aware of that, smoking perhaps will be something that will be a thing of the past.